everybody, Dave really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Office Lovers. We are on Ryo Kaido's route, on his best ending, teasing lips. So we have the good ending and his extras after that. I'm quite excited to see his best ending here. To top off all the traits that I love so much about him, he added possessiveness onto it at the last episode, so I'm like, oh, he's the perfect guy for me. My possessive do-es Megane Bishonen. Alright, so anyway, let's get into this best ending, teasing lips. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Got here a little early, it looks like. It was the release date for the Christmas kit. Mr. Kaido and I had decided to go around to the stores to see how it was doing. I had come from my house, but Mr. Kaido still had some work to finish and would meet later. I'm 30 minutes early. Guess I got a little too excited. I was still thinking of heading into a cafe to kill time when... Oh, if it isn't really. Oh, Mr. Otori. I suddenly noticed Mr. Otori standing in front of me, smiling. Hello there. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh, did you forget already? We planned this, remember? Uh, no. We talked about going to see how the kits were selling today. W what I had no recollection of this. When do we plan this? I think you're thinking about another route, Mr. Otori. But, um, well, that is, uh... The color drained from my face, and my mind went blank. <laughs> you are just priceless. He giggled. W what Sorry. I was just joking. I couldn't help myself. It was just a coincidence. You just look so fancy, I thought you were waiting for someone. So I decided to try and trick you into telling me if I was right or not. I didn't think my guess would be so right, though. He smiled devilishly, and I blushed. Y you were just teasing me? Oh, I said I was sorry. Oh, come on. Don't pull that face. You'll ruin your makeup. Whose fault would that be? I swallowed that comeback, and he stared at me. What? He's going to make fun of me again, I can tell. I stepped back a bit as I fearfully asked, and he narrowed his eyes. But, you really do look gorgeous tonight. Huh? Gorgeous? Me? Come on, I always look gorgeous. When you first joined us at the company, you were so innocent and cute. But ever since you were selected to be on this project, you've grown so much. Just when I was about to try and get you all to myself, I was too late. But Mr. Otori... He smiled sadly. I didn't know how to respond, so I remained quiet. You really have become so pretty. Thank you. I lowered my head and he laughed. Well, anyway, congratulations on the successful launch of Love's Beginning Christmas Kit. It seems like it's been selling well since stores opened this morning. Really? Yeah. I got curious myself and headed around to a few stores in the area. Apparently, it's outselling our competitors like crazy. The kit is a huge success. But I knew it would be once we had you on the team. He winked at me, and I couldn't help but blush. And because of the success, I decided to let you guys handle the next project. I'm expecting more of the same from you. Good luck. Th thank you. All my hard work has paid off. He's going to let me work on the next project. I'm going to make our next project an even bigger success than this one. Oh, by the way, Dorelli. Yes? Still on a high from being offered my next project, I practically sang my reply. It's about that rule. That no dating team members rule. Uh. Well, for the time being, today marks an end point. So, I was thinking, I would reverse that rule soon. But let me ask you just one thing. Hmm? Suddenly, he's all I can see, as he pulls me into his warm embrace. Ah! Uh, Mr. Otori! Yeah, this feels nice. Too bad I couldn't get to you first. But what the hell are you doing? What? I gave you a big hug, obviously. I would have hated myself if I hadn't gotten to hold you at least once like this. So, just quiet that pretty mouth of yours and let me hold you. But, but if Kaido sees us, hold me. P please, let me go. Not on your life, young lady. Kaido, help! I squirmed, trying to wrench myself out of his vice grip. But he only held me tighter. Ugh, this is so awkward being held like this in front of all these people. I tried to fight him off, but he was too strong. When I was panting from exhaustion. You did a good job, kid. I mean it. I know I have been strict with you, but once the project is over, you're free to show it off. Huh? 
He had whispered those words in my ear, and when I looked up, he smiled gently. This defeat does sting a little, though. Saying that, he drops his arms and let me go. But, you're terrible, you know that. I told you very specifically at the beginning of this not to fall in love with anyone but me, and to think that it would be Kaido of all people. Uh, I thought we had been hiding it so well up until this point, but he knew all along. Maybe I chose the wrong man for you to be partnered with. Hmm. Yeah, it was your mischievous side that paired us together in the first place. It's your own fault. Those other kids are just so obvious, though. I thought Kaido would be the best, but... Um, Mr. Otori, I'm sorry I broke your rule. It's fine. Kaido's a good guy. It's understandable why this happened. Though all I really want to do is steal you back. You can't steal me back if you didn't have me in the first place. Although, technically he did have me in the last route. But as long as you keep it in check, there's nothing I can do about it. He looked off into the distance, and I followed his line of sight. Possession. Mr. Otori had been staring at my nails. It was the polish Mr. Kaido had given me. After all, it's not like I'm oblivious to the name of that polish. Jeez, pretty ballsy of Kaido to do something so openly rebellious. A wry smile cracked his mouth. Well, you know the saying. There's a crowd, right? I'll be on my way. He waved goodbye, then disappeared into the throng of people. Mr. Otori. I won't let you down. I'll hit our next project out of the park. My phone buzzed. Oh, a text. It's from Mr. Kaido. I'm going to be late. He's probably busy with work. I sent him a text back saying it was okay, but then put the phone back into my bag. It's not quite closing time yet, but I wonder how much longer he'll be. But I guess it isn't that cold out. I'll just wait out here. I leaned against the light post and waited for Mr. Kaido to come. He still isn't here. What are you doing making me wait this long? It's not nice to make a lady wait. The sun had set, and the area had gotten dark. The crowd was starting to thin out. Seven already? Well, at least the store is still open. It had been an hour since I got that text. And there's been nothing since. I thought about mailing him, but I was worried I'd only delay his work more. I wonder if he's still at the office. Something might have happened. Today was the release date for the Christmas kit. We had done everything perfect, preparing for today. I wonder if there was an accident. What should I do? Maybe I should head to the office. But I'm afraid we might pass each other on the way. Well, if he's not there, I'll call him. If something has happened, then I'd like to be there to help. Alright, I'll head over now. With that decision, I began to walk away. Then a voice fell to my ear. What is this? You're giving up on me? It was a familiar voice. M Mr. Kaido! I thought you stood me up. I turned around to the voice and found Mr. Kaido. No one had been there a moment ago. He's a ninja, just like Otori. I didn't even notice you there. When did you get here? A second ago. Then you should have said something. I assumed you were still at the office, so I was about to head over there. Was everything okay at work? Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. But, um, where are we going exactly? The store is down the street. Got a call from sales. They told us to drop by the stores tomorrow instead. The stores are swamped right now, so they wouldn't have time to meet with us. This way. Come on. R right Is he taking me to the hotel instead? He turned away and walked off. I scrambled to keep up. ta -da! What do you know? Um, Mr. Kaido? Why are we here? He had brought me back to the hotel we had spent the night at before. It hadn't been that long ago, but work had gotten so busy we hadn't been back. The memory of that night was also still so fresh in my mind. I began to remember things about that night, and I began to feel hot. Why? Ask your face. Huh? My face? I had no clue what he was talking about, but he just gave a cruel laugh. The faces you were making while you were waiting for me. You want me so bad. <laughs> so he was watching. Wh what? And then when you saw me, it was like a dog seeing his master. You jumped at me. Were you lonely there all by yourself? H hey! I made no such face. You didn't call or text or anything. I was worried. I see. He placed his jacket on the chair and moved toward me on the bed. He put one knee on the side of the bed grabbed my chin and lifted it. Uh, uh. So then, 
Are you saying you don't want me at all? Huh? Or are you seriously going to sit there and tell me you don't want me right now? W want you? He was so close, I could feel his breath on me. The soft ambient light from the window cast shadows on his face. It wasn't like that time we spent at work. Seeing him loosen his tie, I remembered. Uh, I remembered that night, and I began to feel hot. My body now flushed. See? How are you feeling now? His quiet, intoxicating voice sent shivers through my body. Unable to bear it anymore, my lips parted. He smirked and brought his face close. He's going to... kiss me. I have been waiting for this. I closed my eyes, but... Hmm. What the? I closed my eyes and waited, but I found no lips to meet my own. I curiously opened my eyes. Huh? I found him just inches away from my lips, frozen in place. Mr. Kaido. Even though I begged him with my voice, he remained still, not moving a centimeter. Hey, that's right, we're supposed to kiss him. His eyes, usually shining from fun, were now glinting mischievously. What? You were flashing her mouth like a hungry goldfish. Did you want something? If you want something, try putting it into words and demanding it. Or just take it! We never did take up that challenge! Huh? As he spoke, our lips brushed tenderly. I want more. I wanted that sweet burn he always gave me. I pressed myself to him. Well... Well... My jaw still in his hands, he began to squeeze and pushed me away a bit. You're just like a dog. You really can't help yourself, can you? Naughty girl. Uh. He pulled his lips further from my own and breathed a sigh. Hm. You look positively desperate for it. W what are you talking about? I'm... You aren't really going to deny it, are you? Uh, embarrassed, I bit my lip. You'll never get used to men, will you? Making yourself blush like that and getting yourself misty-eyed. You want me. We both know you do. But you can't just come out and say it. How could I ever? Just being with him makes my heart pound, so much so it feels like it hurts sometimes. How could I ever say those words to him when I'm like this all the time? Come on, be a good girl. Just say it. What do you want? What do you want me to do to you? If you can't say it. He took my hand and kissed my nails painted in possession. Well... If you're going to be this way. After that, he slowly opened his mouth and... Mm. Mr. Kaido! Oh my god, he's got my fingers in his mouth. Hey, I'm not wearing the nail polish! We need the nail polish in the picture! But he looks as beautiful as ever. <laughs> oh no, I like the other pictures better, but it's still nice. S stop it! I have nail polish on! Not anymore! <laughs> if you really want me to stop... Then say it like you mean it. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to keep going. Your fingers are so cold. Let me warm them up for you. Mm. Mm. Uh, st his tongue wrapped around my fingers. His mouth was so hot. I tried to pull my hand away, but he caught my wrist and stayed me. Uh, his tongue found its way to the base of my fingers, and I yelped. M Mr. Kaido! His tongue continued to work around my fingers, and I tried to control my ragged breath. Mr. Kaido, kiss me, please. Embarrassed, I closed my eyes and practically screamed it. Hearing my words, he at last relinquished my hand from his tongue. So, you can say it. W well you were... He breathed a sigh onto my still wet fingers, and I quivered. Huh, blaming others, are we? B but you... He was only touching my fingers. Why was my body responding this much? Because I love it when he plays with my fingers. Not able to think at the moment, my stuttering nonsense was all that came out. Noticing my incapacity, he traced my lips with his fingers, enjoying the sensation. <sighs> Fine. I'll let you have a treat for a job well done. A treat? Are you going to kiss me? Yes. I stared at him in my hazy state. Where do you want me to kiss you? Where? Just like on that night ages ago, I wanted that sweet burning all over my body. But where I wanted it most. My mouth. Good girl. 
His fingers moved from my lips to my chin. He urged my chin up, and I did as I was told. He brought his handsome face close to mine, just like before. Your wish is my command. I closed my eyes, and he at last planted his lips on the mine. <sighs> he chewed my lips softly, breathed into me, and snuck his tongue inside. As our kiss began to ramp up in passion and heat, I heard the soft sound of cloth moving against skin, then the sound of clothes crumpling on the floor. The next day after the night at the hotel, Mr. Kaido and I went around to the stores currently selling our polish. Mr. Otori came by. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he knew about us. Hearing that, Mr. Kaido pushed his glasses up his face with his index finger. I see. So the absolutely idiotic rule has finally been put to rest. But when could he have found out? He said that once the project is over, we can show it off. We won't have to hide. Truth be told, I felt a little guilty about having broken that rule. It looks like he's going to overlook it, but the two of us should go apologize anyway. But, Mr. Kaido, will he want to? <laughs> he let a curious laugh slip from his lips. Hmm? What are you laughing at? You do know that if he changes his mind, he can force us apart, right? It's not that. He's not the kind to change his mind once he's decided on something. As long as our romantic entanglements don't impede our work, he won't say anything. I guess it's a little different this time with you on board, though. But as long as I have you close on my leash, it wasn't an issue. On your... leash? I'm not your dog! Uh, sorry. Would you prefer my cat? That's not what I'm talking about! I glared at him, but he only laughed. But as far as you're concerned, you don't have to worry your pretty little head. I've been warned once before, though. Huh? Warned? About what? Remember that night we stayed past midnight after that bit of trouble? Oh yeah, the manufacturer trouble, right? I remember. After you went home, Mr. Otori came by the office. He did? Now that I think about it, I did see him outside that night. Uh, what did he want to talk about? Work or...? It wasn't work-related. He basically warned me not to get involved with you. Wh what At their shocking words, I let out a high-pitched hysterical cry. Ouch, my ears. S sorry but, but he really said that? Mr. Kaido, Mr. Otori and I had been in the same room so many times since that night. And they had acted so nonchalant, I would have never guessed. Did he warn you that if you don't stop seeing me, he'd fire you? <sighs> he remained silent and stared at me. After a moment... I'm not saying. He shut his mouth and looked away. W what? Why not? I have to know. I grabbed his arm and shook. He finally sighed. Let go already. You're going to wrinkle my shirt. Then tell me! No. Just thinking about it pisses me off. W what He glowered at me. I immediately released his arm. But it's not fair. I was just as much a part of this as him. He should have told me. He puffed out my cheeks. How did he do that? <laughs> uh, I guess he puffed out his cheeks and scowled. The hell are you doing? Oh, me. I puffed out my cheeks and scowled. The hell are you doing? Is that your blowfish impression? N no Octopus? No, I'm not doing impressions. I'm mad at you for keeping that secret. I told him before that I wanted him to tell me everything, no matter how small. He obviously didn't listen to that. Still angry, he reached for me. Ugh! He ruffled my head like I was a five-year-old. Mr. Kaido, what are you doing? We're about to visit stores. And what of it? Don't try to pry into things that don't concern you. I'll fix everything. It still concerns me. You just keep looking at me, got it? Remember, you're mine. <laughs> he suddenly planted a kiss on me, silencing any further protests. So then that means... You're mine, Mr. Kaido? He gave a faint smile, then dropped his lips onto mine again. I think that meant yes. Ah. <sighs> so, I had said... Before I wanted to see more of this picture... I forgot about it in the last video. Okay, so... Oh, wow. He had us at least partially disrobed in this picture. And we just couldn't see because we couldn't see the whole thing before. Let's take a look at all these while we're here. Oh, that does look nice when you get the full one. <laughs> oh, I really wish they would make mobile games in landscape. 
Because, you know, you can freaking hold your telephone sideways. Games don't need to be vertical. Alright, well anyway, I want to finish reading all these before the night's out, so I'm going to head right into the next one. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.